Greetings everyone. I am here wanting to do some art in front of you because um well juggling life and being you know watching my daughter a uh, heal improve on a daily I am so grateful for that one of my daughters because um you know we're all growing whether we want to accept it or not ideally hopefully we're all growing so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do in the next few minutes but I want to uh, come here and uh share videos with you or this video so let's see what can I do today now I love gluing I love recycling garbage so maybe I work on this uh, notebook today I'll pick up some things that I have been saving you know or if you haven't seen my videos check my videos because I do save um, I do save packagings um, what else I not only do mag, uh, mixed media from using uh, pictures, but I also like using things that I pick up along the way, like packaging, wrapper, stuff like that. If you see my videos, that's been my focus on recycling every single thing that comes my way that has pretty color, texture, um, and that. So let me look here. Look at this. Um, rainbow sour belt bites now these colors are already here i could use the whole thing i could just use this one <clears throat> this piece here and let's see do i add it like that do i add it like that so just watch me watch me do here now i'm going to staple this because it's just the easiest way If I want to reposition it, I can just remove the staples, right? Cool. Now that's lifted there. Does that bother me? No, it doesn't. If at any point I want to glue it, I will glue it in place. Now we have some color here, which I am going to cut. And then we have some color here and here. Where did it go? Here. So I can add it to this page so that I continue or bring the color from the right to the left, or I could just leave this colors, these colors. There. So let me see where if there's another place that I can add. I can add this corner here. <laughs> Does it have to be in place? Not necessarily. All right. So that gave it that corner. Uh, let's see. There's pink there. My first staple was too loose. Hmm. I'm going to have to come back and remove these two. Let's see. Because they're not serving any purpose. See, I recycled that. Uh, let's see what else can I add to this. This could be an envelope for tucking in something. And I could put that right here. Or well, let me see. More piece of blue. When I look at it, I know where it belongs. I 
perhaps I could just start a new page. Let me create a contrast with this orange. Now while that is drying. And so the idea is to create layers, layers of color, of content, and that gives, oops, I missed that one too, and that gives, start shaping the page, creating backgrounds. Whatever feels right, I just glue it in place and start giving shape to pages like, let me show you what I got so far. See? I can add uh, a phrase there. Look how pretty. These are all different pieces of paper, right? Look. I can still add to that. That, that has room for more. This has room for more. And if you notice the texture is that I glued two pages together to give it more um, to give it more absorption or hold. This notebook has a lot of room to create and build and glue look I did this one one time in a video I think I am going to give this a color background I can use the orange or I can use the green let's see Feel free to put in the comments what it is that you've recycled recently, repurposed, and used for creating something. Let's see if that's enough. Yeah. Like my challenge uh, is to do things for less. From zero expense to do it for less. So if the materials are coming in my life because packaging is part of something I already purchased, then why not recycle and use it for my art? And that way it's free and it doesn't end in the landfill. Hold on, there's somebody calling for the for, for it to come enter. So I have to stop the video here. Talk to you soon.